how new wholesalers can make over $100,000 in their first year wholesaling real estate. If you were to make six figures over $100,000 in assignment fees, let me tell you something that's gonna get you really excited. The blueprint for doing this is already out there. I've taught hundreds of thousands of wholesalers how to get started in this industry. And after teaching so, so many of these people how to make 100K their first year, interviewing them, talking with them, seeing over and over what they do, I can tell you that blueprint is very similar. Most people making six figures their first year always do the same exact things. Not the first and only type of list, not just this marketing channel, this way to find cash buyers. But they do a lot of really fundamental things, the same exact thing that is a lot different than people that don't get their first deal. So what I want to do today is give you the complete breakdown and blueprint on how you can make over six figures this year in wholesaling real estate absolutely for free. Before I break it down, before I show you everything about how to do this for free, do me a favor, make sure you smash the like button and subscribe and let's get into it. So the one secret of people that make over $100,000 every single year in wholesaling real estate, especially when they do it their first year, comes down to this big secret. I'm just going to drop it right now. Every single person that makes six figures does their first deal or two and learn exactly what went well there and they just scale it up from there. Now it's like, wait, what are you talking about, Zach? What does that mean? Think about it for a second. This is how I made my first six figures and it's kind of funny, but a lot of people do the same blueprint. They go out here, get their first or second deal. So my first two deals, I made about 40, 45 grand just off bandit signs. And I'm like, wow, I made $40,000 at 17, 18 years old off of bandit signs. So guess what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna go hard in the paint on that specific thing. Focus on that. I don't care about the new PPC or SEO thing. I'm focusing straight up only on the bandit signs because that's what got me pretty rich and I'm just going to keep doing what worked even more. It's a pretty simple concept and that's how people go from doing one to two deals all the way up to 10, 20, 30, 100 deals. Now I'm not saying to go cancel everything else out, but figure out what's working and just stick to that. It's simple basics. So if you found that texting pre foreclosures is the thing that got you your first deal, why don't we just start going hard in the paint on that? A lot of issues a lot of people get when trying to get to six figures is they'll get a deal off of texting pre foreclosures and they'll say, okay, okay, now I need to do Facebook ads, or I got to do this crazy new fancy strategy. No, stick to what's working and just do that a lot more. And that will lead to it. Because if you did something right there, you found a little bit of gold in the spot, maybe go dig gold even harder in that area. And you'll probably find a lot more gold versus going four states over and trying to find gold in another little spot. Wherever there's gold, go around there. If there's smoke, there's usually fire. This also pertains to areas. If you found two or three deals in just these little zip codes, stick to those zip codes. Don't go do something crazy or insane. Saying. Stick to what's working and just go even harder on it. This is the same exact concept when making a campfire. You got a little bit of fire going on. It's a little small. You put some of the tinder in there and the fire's going. What you need to do is put a little more sticks, bigger sticks, some pieces of wood there and just make it bigger. If I put so much wood on there, the fire's just going to get out. But you just got to slowly pump it up and make the fire bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger until it's a huge flame going everywhere. And that's where I'm at right now. Start slow and scale it up more and more and more. And when you want to make six figures in wholesaling real estate, it's pretty simple. It's about one to two deals a month at most, like 10, 12 deals a year. So keep it simple. Whatever you're doing for deal one and two, expand it from there. Now you might be out coming to me, Zach, and being like, whoa, 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 I haven't even got my first deal yet. What are you talking about? How can I get to six figures if I haven't done a deal? And this is what I want to share with you right now, step by step. Number one, for most people in person in wholesaling real estate, you're actually locally in your market. I would say probates and drying for dollars and reverse drying for dollars is gonna be your best way to get your first deal. Go in your car, look for ugly houses, find the addresses, call them up. You can even do reverse drying for dollars where you slap sticky notes on those type of properties. Put something like, hey, this is Zach, I had a quick question about your property, please give me a call back. Go out here, pull the probates, call the probates. This is a good list because it doesn't take too much time to do and there's a ton of motivated sellers and not a lot of wholesalers actually go after that type of list. So it's a great one for you to find your first one to two deals that gives you the best bang for your buck on your time and money spent. On top of that, there's a lot more marketing strategies. Heck, I have a free wholesaling course, freewholesaling.com, where I break down step by step how you can actually go out here and find your first deal with hundreds and hundreds of type of lists and marketing channels. It's kind of unlimited how many lists and marketing channels you can do. You can do paid lists, free lists, earn lists, they're all over the place. So you can test out everything out. I just gave you a small recommendation there, but you should go to freelancing.com to learn exactly all the lists and which ones you might want to do right now. I show you step-by-step -step how to pull every type of list and how to do it. Just go to freewholesaling.com. But really, once you find the list you want, once you find the marketing channel you want, focus on creating a consistent marketing schedule. That is it, guys and gals. 
create a consistent marketing schedule. Do not go out here and create an inconsistent schedule where whenever I feel like I'm gonna start marketing now, or maybe I don't wanna market right now, I'll market later. Don't be doing that. Create a schedule and stick to it. And once you do that, I need you to focus on one important KPI for getting your first deal. Not how many sellers you talk to, or how many buyers you have, or how many skip traces you did, but focus on offers. Offers, offers, offers. The more offers you make with motivated sellers is the better chance of you getting a locked up deal. And the more locked up deals you get, the more deals you sell to cash buyers, which is more money in your pocket. So really when I look at wholesalers that make six figures and don't make six figures, sometimes the marketing is the same. Sometimes the cash buyer dispo process is the same. The only thing that is massively different is the amount of offers people make. And so what you need to focus on is connecting yourself with people that want to sell the property and giving them low ball cash offers. Don't make insane, stupid, really low ball offers, but make them low enough where you're going to make a ton of money on the deal if they say yes. More offers, more money. It's a simple, easy concept. And that's the blueprint for most of your marketing. I would say if you want a complete blueprint though, for getting started in virtual wholesaling or local wholesaling real estate, focus on government lists. These are lists you get from the government that cost absolutely no money at all. These are the probates, pre-foreclosures, fire damage properties, liens, tax delinquencies, credit card debt lien lists, the arrest record list. I can go on and on and on forever about it, but these are amazing lists to be going after. And go out here and drive for dollars and reverse drive for dollars those type of lists. I would want you with those type of list to go out here and actually cold call, pick up the phone, start smiling and dialing. The reason why I want you to go out here and smile and dial is if you want to make $100,000 the quickest, fastest way possible, you should right now gain as much experience talking to sellers and giving the most offers in the fastest amount of time. Remember, we talked about offers as the KPI and cold calling is the best way to do it. Now, I know it's a little scary. I feel a little nervous, but once you get that experience, your confidence will go up. You'll believe in what you say and you'll start closing more and more sellers. And that's going to lead you to closing more deals and getting your first $100,000. Now, if you're doing virtual wholesaling and you can't drive for dollars or reverse drive for dollars, I would just stick to the government lists. Maybe add some paid lists in there, some listra.com lists, some batch leads lists. And I would probably just focus on cold calling mainly. But also if you really want to sprinkle some SMS text blasting in there, that might not be a bad option too. Now you can do texting for free on your phone or using a service like Google Voice. But the one thing I have to stress to you guys and gals watching this, if you wanna consistently do wholesaling deals and do one to two deals every month, which will lead you to make over six figures this year, $100,000 plus, you have to get consistent deals. And consistent deals come from consistent markets. Marketing. Inconsistent deal flow, inconsistent deals come from, guess what? Inconsistent marketing. If you want constant deals, you're gonna have to constantly market. If you don't want any deals, don't market. Marketing is gonna be the lifeline of your wholesaling business that's gonna lead you to getting leads and getting deals coming in every single month. But heck, maybe you don't wanna make six figures. It's a lot of work, I get it. It's for the few and hardworking individuals that actually wanna make six figures in wholesaling real estate and scale their operations even more up from there. There's no secret how I got rich in wholesaling real estate. I consistently talk to sellers, I consistently went out here and cold called, I consistently put bandit signs out and I never stopped. You only lose in this business when you quit. And you watching this video, you are not a quitter. I truly believe you have everything in your power to make six figures this year. But the truth is you won't get there if you don't consistently talk to sellers, make a schedule and be disciplined in your life. This might be a new concept to you, but this is not a foreign concept to me and something I can definitely teach you right now in my free wholesaling course, freewholesaling.com. You are someone who is completely capable of doing that. You need to say it to yourself and believe it to yourself. But if you believe it, you actually have to go out here and start doing the work. The biggest difference between the pretenders out here in wholesaling and the ones that actually get results are the ones that actually go out here and take action. Heck, there's a lot of people that take action that haven't gotten their first wholesaling deal yet, but they eventually keep going. They get that first deal, something pops up in their mind and they consistently get better and better and better. And they go to six figures like that. The big secret is they never quit. They never surrendered. And you need to do the same exact thing. If you're willing to do that, make sure you go out here and smash the like button, subscribe, go to freewholesaling.com and I'll see you guys soon. This is Zach and signing out. See you on the next one. Thank you.